In this video, I want you to get over here. And if you're still too far away, you better come here. Because I want to show you how Liu Kang from Mortal Kombat works with kettlebells. Grüezi miteinander, Gregory von Leber Stark hier. While I was researching for some kettlebell stuff to react to, I was stumbling over this great video from Man's Health. And they talk about how Liu Kang from Mortal Kombat, or the actor, got in shape for his role before we jump into the reaction let me say this if you have any suggestions any videos that i should react to let me know in the comments hey combat baby hey, that's what's up today i'm here at amphit i'm going to be here to train to perform Liu kang's famous dragon fire ha. Uh, now in order to do the fireball or the dragon ha. fire i need to work on my in order to do this you need a kime that's what you learn when you do heart style stuff ha -ha. ability my concentration my power and my projection. All right. And Owen over here is gonna help us go through some of those exercises. For stability, I would recommend the get up. It's wow. a movement where we start lying down on the floor, standing all the way back up while staying. I like Owen. He knows his stuff. Stabilizing the weight overhead. So that is stability. And I, I know that the Turkish get up is also used by warriors back in the- And let me tell you guys, Liu Kang's physique, that's, that's what I want to look like. This is, this is crazy. Take a look at the form. Take a look at the form. Wow. Yep. The windshield wiper move, leg sweep. It's all working fine, man. Good stuff. Good stuff. Shoulders packed. Elbow down. And a lot of tension. My man got a lot of tension, man. Five sets of three reps per side. Great recommendation, man. Nice. Let me tell you guys, you rarely see such a good demonstration from actors or celebrities. Now that I have stability down, um, the next thing I'm going to work on is my concentration. Mm. So I think uh, a really good way to shrink. Is that him? If it's him, he's way leaner. He's way thinner. He probably, after the movie, he felt... He felt so boosted, he was like, I'm Liu Kang, get out of the way, man. Give me those weights, and I'm gonna build that muscle. Concentration is working on your breath control, right? Learning how to take a nice, deep, controlled breath, mm. right? Which is going to be very important and crucial for you to project your strength and power. It is such an important understanding to really breathe correctly. And in my opinion, there's two breathing maneuvers that you can use for kettlebell training one is power breathing where you really use your lungs and your diaphragm like a pump <laughs> breathing like this where a lot of tension uh, is engaged in your core where your abdominals are working and your diaphragm and lungs work like a pump together in unison with your abdominal muscles and another way that you can use for kettlebell training, especially when we work with very heavy weights, is the Valsalva maneuver. For example, when you do a very heavy deadlift with two kettlebells or a very heavy press, then it's breathing in, and then tensing those abdominals, then lifting, going back down, and after the lift is finished, that's when you breathe out. And with the Valsalva maneuver, you form a rigid cylinder of, of pressure around your spine that works for stability and additional safety. Good stuff, man. But also, my ribs are actually actively working to help me yes. breathe and to help me, I feel very strong. So your your chest muscles are, are helping, your abdominal muscles are helping, and you die from your lungs right here. So when your lung expands or opens up where a lot of air comes in, then of course your rib cage expands as well. And some people are so tight in their thoracic spine, upper body, that they have this hunched position and then they have a hard time breathing. So that's good stuff, man. Liu Kang is the king. And his coach is the king too. Yeah, I, ah, I like really it. I feel it right down. I like it. Into my testicles. Uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? He feels it down into his testicles. <laughs> he looks at him like, what? <laughs> you serious, bro? <laughs> Let's play that again. Into my testicles. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it was a ride That's in your exactly balls. Your That's exactly what I want. That's good. I was worried there for a second. <laughs> Great. So now that we Calm. have that breath and concentration All right. um, under my belt, so to speak, I need to work on power. For this power, we're going to start with the push-up. It's a nice, easy exercise. Anyone up, can man. do at home. 
So in the push up, rather What's than up? just dropping down. I like going. Owen. I like Owen. Focus it's the basics, man. Pulling yourself down. Well, maybe the the upper body is a little bit in a kyphotic position. Maybe maybe stretching your chest out a little bit more. Imagining like you're doing. Because if you stretch out your chest a little bit more when you got into the, when you go down into the push up and you push your chest up, you get maybe a little bit more of a, a stretch reflex in your um, in your chest muscles, which Bro, would be great. Um, using that breath. Three sets of 20 reps. To actively pull your great recommendation. Push up, Look drawing at this air dude, man. That's what you got to look like. I, I like his body, man. Not in, not in a weird sense. <laughs> I like his physique. And from there, forcefully exhaling, pushing from the midsection through the shoulder into the yeah, arms. Looks, into he got, the looks like he got horns Ripping. on his upper back. See that? He got horns. <laughs> shoulder blade sticking out. So maybe just make sure that your chest, really push your chest out. This is the thoracic part of your spine that you can control. So really stick it out when you go down into a push up. I like what they do. So now I can stable my body concentrate my energy all right and build it into a force of power yeah but now the fireball is nothing without projecting it out at yeah me and i need to project it with explosiveness speed and force. speed velocity and explosiveness slow moving fireball because anyone can just dodge that or parry or jump over it right so what can i do to train to project i like power that uh, the exercise that we're going to use for this is the kettlebell swing get into a nice hinge position for now, we're gonna do the one-arm swing. Oh, and you know Hold your on. stuff. 10 sets of 10. Hey, these guys? You won't believe me, guys, how, how rare it is that you see celebrities and actors and their coaches work with good programming. Most of the time, you see celebrities, actors, and even athletes do stupid stuff or just, you know, that stability strength moving functional stuff that you normally see but here they use the basics they use powerful exercises and what i like the most is take a look at his form boom take a look at his form take a look at his form you see that that's the key man that's when i talk to luca about it he calls them strength reserves and in a recent coaching session with one of our clients, I felt like she's now able to tap into that potential of that explosiveness. When you come from the stretch reflex into a contraction with a lot of force and power. Now, you accelerate with a lot of power in the swing from the posterior chain of your, of your legs, and then you use your anterior chain to use them as brakes. I like that concept, and I got this from Dan John. So it's important, even the abdominals work as brakes, that you... Tap into that strength reserves, use that power, that explosiveness, explosiveness, that high velocity, but you also need brakes to really, boom, get that key in, that, that pump. Kettlebell with one arm, we're gonna good stuff, it back. man. Square That's good shoulder. stuff. He's Liu Kang. What you expect, bro? <laughs> good stuff. Throw now he's doing hands and hand swings. And going to stand up Very powerful. To a standing plank and forceful exhale. This will project the bell forward. Having that steady pull, having that energy, having that breath within wow. me, and wow. again, concentrating it, and then making it into a powerful force yeah. in order to project the swing forward, like yeah. how I would with a concentrated energy blast or a fireball. How I would as Liu Kang, fatality. <laughs> and I like the way they put it. First of all, what you need is stability and you build it with strength. Because when you make those moves, you wanna, you wanna really draw in the energy. Now I'm getting a little philosophical here, but bear with me, guys. Man, I'm a video game addict. I've been playing video games since the Game Boy. All right? So the stability is there to really work and be able to connect your muscles to get ready for the, for the, for the fire, for, to get the energy in, right? And then you need that the breathing power, right? But then you also need the strength to be able to to uh, keep that energy in its grip because otherwise maybe the energy will get right out of your hand and you will keep it in there. So you need power. You need the, the power that you build with the push-up. And then it's that, whew, it's that bam, that punch, you see? So it's boom. When you're coming in and then all of a sudden it is pa. I already feel it with the swing. Good stuff. I like this. I like this. Owen Chow, my man Owen Chow, Hollywood, you gotta hire this guy, he's the man.
So thank you for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, like it and consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. If you're looking for a kettlebell workout program that takes you from a beginner to an advanced trainee in about three months and you want to combine it with some easy to follow nutrition coaching, then consider buying our course. It's called 90 Days of Kettlebells. You'll find the link in the description. 14 day free trial included.